Jessa, Duggar, Seawald is a mama, X3. The Counting on Star gave birth her third child with Hus Ben Seawald People confirms. Get push notifications with news features more. Follow following you'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. The couple welcomed daughter Ivy Jane Seawald at their Arkansas home on Sunday, May 26. The newborn baby girl weighed 7 pounds 14 ounces measured in a 20.5 inches long. Ivy Jane Seawald was born at home on Sunday, May 26, weighing 7 pounds 14 ounces measuring 20. 5 inches long. She feels so tiny compared to her siblings, the couple said in a statement adding that their sons Virgin 3 Henry 2 were born at nearly 10 pounds close to 9 pounds respectively. We're so grateful to God for this precious gift. She is already so loved. Her big brothers adore her. Jessa Ben announced the pregnancy exclusively with people on Jan. 9. We are overjoyed that God has blessed us with a baby due late this spring. Jessa told people in a statement. From the day we found out we were expecting we both guessed boy, if our predictions are right then we already have a ton of clothing accessories ready to pass down. At the same time we would absolutely love it if we found out we were having a girl, though we've joked that we'd be starting from square one might have to learn a few things. Added Ben of their elder children, Henry doesn't have a clue what's coming, but Spurgeon understands he talks about the baby quite a bit. Seeing our boys meet their new sibling for the first time is something we are really looking forward to. Jessa 25 Ben 23 tied the knot in front of more than 1,000 people at the First Baptist Church in Bentonville, Arkansas in November 2014. A year after saying their I dose the pair welcomed their first child 28-month-old son Spurgeon Elliot in November 2015. And last February they became a family of four when they welcomed son Henry Wilberforce now 13 months. Following Henry's birth the couple opened up about their desire to one day grow their family through adoption. Ben I still have a deep desire to adopt it's something we continue to look into Jessa told people. We've also talked about fostering to adopt. While they have plans for many future babies Jessa said at the time that they'll have to switch up their living situation before they do. We're already going to have two babies in a two-bedroom house she explained about her Arkansas home. So I'm thinking we'll have to upgrade to a three-bedroom. In celebration of Ben's birthday last May Jessa penned a loving open letter to her husband on their family blog in which she wrote When I think about what you mean to me, it's hard to put into words. You're one of a kind. You're a gem. You've influenced my life in ways you probably don't even know, have helped me to be a more well-rounded person Jessa wrote. There's is just so much more that I could say she continued in the conclusion of the letter added, but I shall close for now with this, I know that I married up. Us Weekly first reported news of Ivy's birth. Counting on airs Mondays, 9 p. m. Eastern Time, on TLC.